Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I literally just opened up this mug press. I haven't done a single mug yet, so we're gonna do our first mug together. I'm a little nervous about that, but I want you to kinda see, I don't know, just any bloopers that may happen, what you what to expect when you're doing your first mug. So a couple things that I got ready. I've already cut out a design and I love, I mean, personally, I love the infusible ink transfer sheets. Um, those are the ones that are already printed. They feel sort of like cardboard, like glitter paper. So um, I love them because I, right now, I the only infusible ink stuff that I do is on t-shirts. So I do use the Cricut shirts. Um, I've done some things that weren't Cricut stuff that just had a high polyester count, but I just, I like the ink sheets. I love the way they look. Um, so I'm excited to try this mug press. So um, if you see it, I mean, this is it. So here's the front, the top, and behind. There's literally one button. It's the button to turn on. Here's the little lever. And what the lever does is, I don't know if you caught that, um, it opens up the mug chamber. And then as you press down, the um, it closes up so it's gonna get tight and this whole thing will heat up. That's all that there is to it. I personally own the five-in-one heat press. Um, so obviously there's five ways to heat it, right? I've only used one. I know of two other ones. I've seen the hat attachment and I've seen the mug attachment, but I've never attached anything. I've only, I mean, I love it because it applies so much pressure that I feel my shirts and whatever that I do, it will not lift. So that I am super, I mean, I highly recommend that. If you're gonna sell, um, even if you don't sell like your stuff, my daughter is young, so I'm not too worried about her stuff because she's gonna grow out of it. By the time you know I turn around and if the HTV lifts, it's time for a new shirt anyway. But you know, for our stuff, right? I mean, today I wore a sweatshirt that is literally 30 years old. So <laughs> we keep that stuff. Um, so I highly recommend getting a real heat press. Um, it comes, I mean, for not that much more, you can get the five in one heat press. So if you're taking out, if you're just looking at it from a price point, I feel as if your best bet is your five in one heat press. It's not the Easy Press 2. I'm not impressed with the Easy Press 2 stuff. The only thing that I really, really like, I love the mini, the mini, um, this thing, look, this little guy. He is always out on my desk because for little things, ribbon, to fix things, whatever, I love that. Um, for paper and normal things that, or things that aren't normal, like shirts and stuff like that, but you can still apply HTV to like paper, cardstock, notebooks, you know, stuff like that. I love using the, the mini. So if you got the mini and the heat and a heat press, I think that that's a great combo. Now, why would you get this? Um, I well, I got it for business <laughs> to do this video and to show you guys how to do it, um, but. I've had that heat press for, I want to definitely a year, if not two years, and I've never touched the attachments. So like I sort of posted today on Instagram, it's it reminded me of my gym membership. I kept this one gym membership for eons because it was so cheap, but I never went. So then why, right? So if I'm gonna pay more for a gym, that I really like and actually go to, that's a better benefit, right? So if you're never gonna use that and you need something super simple, this feels like it's super simple. So let's get started. Um, the thing that I did have to do is you need to connect it to, to, to update the firmware. You cannot use this mug press until you update it. So there's a plug that goes into, I plugged it into my laptop and you open up Design Space and you choose the setup. So new new equipment setup, new machine setup, and then you're gonna choose the heat press and then choose the mug press, okay? You have to do that, it won't start without it. Okay, so I am going to, I hit the button, it's gonna heat up. So I'm gonna put it to the side over here. A couple
couple things that you're gonna need. This was always with my infusible ink stuff anyway. You're gonna need tape to tape it down to the mug. Um, they highly recommend having this so that after the mug, um, after you take it out, it needs to sit and cool on, you know, like you would, you wouldn't put a hot pan on your table, right? So you, um, I'm gonna have this out here. We're gonna do two mugs today. That's the other reason why I like the infusible ink sheets because for the same design, you can use it twice. You take out whatever you weed out, that can be one design, and then your leftover is another design of the same thing. So I really, really like that. Proof, I literally just opened it today. <laughs> All right, and then I also have this to pull out, you know, grab everything when I'm done. All right, so this is heating up. I just cut this, <clears throat> and I left everything as is because I want to show you how cool it is. So what I did is um, I used, I just went on to Design Space, and I picked, I, I'm sure you guys have seen it if you've been in Design Space or even like Cricut's commercials for it, that um, the one where you pick up your mug and you drink, and it's like a, a drawn-in beard. Like it's a full on beard, it's so cute. But anyway, that design is available on Design Space. So I figured the measurements are all good. So I went and I used that one. I'll show you how to design this one as well. Um, as you can see, I love using my 12 by 24 mat. I probably should not have used like a super sticky one for this. So I'm struggling a little bit to pull it up. This is definitely the best buy. So I buy it in bulk when it's on sale. Um, one of these mats, I want to say is like $10, but if you buy it in bulk, it's $2.50 for the whole mat and it's 24 inches. So technically I'm counting it as $1.25 for a 12 by 12 mat, which is unheard of. Um, okay. So I'm, <laughs> I'm almost there. Normally I use this, um, for HTV, when I first peel this up, you know, when I first use the mat, um, I don't know why I decided to do that today, but, and it, for some reason, it sort of cut through too, so I have to just be a little bit careful as I'm pulling this up. So let me get my little tool out. Um, here we go. I should have just done this from the beginning. <laughs> Look how easy it's coming up. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I don't know what is going on. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. This thing is, it cut through my, onto my mat. I haven't had that problem with my infusible ink sheets. This may make my double design a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. All right, the hard part is done. Okay, so I'm gonna move my mat. I'm also just, to make it easier on us, I'm gonna cut it right here, just so that we only have our design to deal with. So here's our design. Do you hear that? We're kind of like cracking it so that we can weed it. So I'm gonna weed, I'm gonna take out the big piece first. So my first design is going to be, it's gonna say Hot Shots, Tennis Mom, and it's a nickname. So we're gonna pull this up. And you, you do want to go kind of slowly because you want to make sure that you don't peel up anything that you're not supposed to. And you can see it's sticking down. Everything's good. And what I'm pulling up now, we're gonna use on the second mug. So, so you wanna be really careful as you're pulling it up because 
we still want this to be workable. And if it isn't, it just isn't, but I'm gonna try. And our mud press, um, it's still just heating up. Um, so everything that I've read, which is just this afternoon, <laughs> is um, you should crack open a window when you're doing it. The fumes are gonna be kind of a lot. So <laughs> I cracked open a window. All right, so let's see here. Okay, almost done. But you'll see in a second how cool this the infusible ink sheets are. So if you've never used it, used it before, I'm, I'm not speaking very well today. Um, it does feel like glitter cardstock. It's really, um, it's sturdy. Okay. okay, so here is one design. I'm gonna peel out some of these little things that need to go on here, but for the most part, you if I turn it this way, you can see it says Hot Shots, Tennis Mom, The Finisher, right? But inside the F are still the pieces here that we need to weed. So it is a little bit difficult to, to use the second piece <clears throat> depending on your design. It's not that much on this one, so I feel like we can do it. I'm gonna peel out the negative, the outside too, because we don't want the outside on here. Okay, so on here, we have like the inside of the R. Which we're gonna wanna save for, the, for this piece to do the second mug, right? So I'm gonna put all the pieces over here. Um, this is still, I guess it's still heating up. I'm not feeling any heat. Like scared to stick. It's on. Okay. We might have to look, we might have to troubleshoot. <laughs> All right, so I'm pulling up everything. Let's see. Whoa. Um, I will say that the machine came with very little instructions. It came with that little booklet that had I don't know, two pages on there, nothing nothing with how to use it. So just know you, I mean, there's software for it. So you're gonna have to just go online and, and figure out. But I already told you, it's basically, you need to update your firmware. So register the machine and then, and then plug it in. So we'll see. Although I'm telling you, it's blinking. I'm almost done weeding this and then I'm gonna look it up on the computer really quickly. All right, so this is completely done. So what you need to do is, um, you need to wipe down your mug to make sure that there's nothing on here. And I had, all right, I don't know where my lint roller went. <laughs> this is probably not the best idea, but okay. <laughs> all right, so I put it down. So I'm gonna put it on my mug. So this is one side. I'm gonna cut off the excess over here. 
And in fact, I can use this again and put it on this design. So we'll work on that when it's in here. And in fact, if I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna cut off a little bit more to use on the design over here. And then this is the nickname, so I'm gonna put it on this side. So cute. Okay, and then you wanna tape it down just to make sure that everything is touching really well. Cause it needs to be touching the, the I was gonna say the plate, the mug, and then it's gonna be pressed in. So you just wanna make sure that everything is down. And you need the heat resistant tape, so don't just use any tape. I don't wanna start a fire. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is all down pretty well. Okay. All right, my heat press is not, you can see that it's blinking, but um, it's not turning on. Where did I put my keyboard? Oh. <laughs> Isn't my keyboard cute? Okay. Um, all right, so give me a second. Let's see. Cricut Mug Press FAQ. So I have my little thing up here let's see what do the lights mean orange flashing is connect mode solid orange is warming up solid green okay so orange flashing is it's connecting so i guess it just takes that long to heat up all right so while it's heating up let's work on our other design so you can see on here, this design is gonna be in a blue and it's gonna say Hot Shots, Tennis Mom, The Finisher. So again, what's cool is here's our outline. It's gonna look like this. It's really gonna be this color, right? We're gonna put it on like this. So it's gonna say it's the, the outline. So what's we can have this on here I can put this in the finisher section and that will hold the inside of our, ooh, I should have, okay. That's gonna be a little bit hard to figure out where everything goes. <laughs> All right, let me put the other one on and this is still heating up, so nothing to do there. Let's see, I'm gonna want that up here. And then I'm gonna need another sheet for here. All right, so let's try to piece this together. I know mom went like this. Oops, no, like this. So you see I'm adding back. Sorry. Um, what would be good is, let me pull up the design so that I can see it. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this is a, I should have kept track of my pieces. Okay, so I think this goes here. Okay, so mom looks really good. Let me see. Hopefully I can get these in here. I think this is for the E. Okay, E is good. Um, okay, and then we have two loops for the S for tennis. I think as long as you get most of it, it's going to look okay. <laughs> it's gonna have to. Okay. Okay, 
so I've got, so you can see tennis looks good. Tennis mom looks good, right? I need to finish up the finisher, which I feel like this is the R. Let's see. Is it this piece? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna leave that aside. Um, okay, I think this is for the F. This is for the bottom F. So yeah, if I were to do this over, I would be paying attention as to when I pulled something out and kind of keeping it in that order. That would have been very, very helpful. <laughs> um, all right, so where, how does this R go? It looks like I might have used where are all my pieces? Oh, okay. Hold on. I think I found it. Maybe. Um, what piece would this be from? Let's see. It's either... I don't know where I pulled this from. Let me see, is it now? All right, I'm gonna try it somewhere here. Oh, okay, I think it was the R. So we're getting there. Let's see, I'm gonna put this in for the E and hope for the best. These pieces are so hard to pick up. All right, here we go. I think this is for the H. And, all right, I'm going to turn it off. I mean, clearly it's turning on and off. All right, here we go. I'll try it again. That would stink because we're doing so well with this design. <laughs> All right, um, which means, what am I gonna do with you when it's pressing, assuming that I can even press it? Okay, we are, we're so good on this thing. So if you can see, I'm gonna turn this over. See how the S and the, the R is coming in? So I have just a few more to put in here and that will look good. I'm gonna ignore this part over here, I think, if I can. We'll see. Okay. And it's a small piece for the top. Oh, the S is. Um, This is sort of like a triangular piece that I'm not seeing. Okay. Oh, here it is. It blended in with my mat. Okay. Let me see. I want my little, oh, here it is. They're like little chopsticks. Okay. I think it goes like that. No. It does go like that. Okay, so you see, so the finisher looks good. I may be able to put in the, for hot shots. And I 
my gosh, I think I was able to put back all the pieces. Now, if only my machine would heat up, otherwise I might have to actually use my real heat press. <laughs> that would be funny. But I needed a broken new mug press to actually use my mug attachment. Okay. Um, even have this small piece for the S, which I'm gonna put down. Okay, and I think there was one more piece. Okay, well, almost. I'm missing just one little piece, but it looks really good and I don't think anyone's gonna notice but us because we know it's missing and i feel like if i look hard enough it will pop up somewhere but i'm not seeing it okay it's not heating up well i'm going to try to troubleshoot and then see. So, so far, not a good review for me. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. It should have been easy. We should have just plopped it in like this. When you put it in, the only thing else that I've noticed is as you lower this, you wanna make sure that your handle is in the middle. So you might have to readjust it a little bit. You don't want the handle touching either side. It should be right in the middle, which I think it would be now. So you push it down and then it would go. But my thing's not even heating up. So, And when you take it out, technically, you can take it out like this. It's sort of like the game operation when we were younger. You, your fingers, do not want to touch anything else. You pull it straight out and you put it on here and then you're done. All right, lovelies. I will, I guess, do a backup. If this turns up green, I will start the video again. See you guys.